Hey everyone, in this video we're going to give you a full tour of our minimalist apartment. It's a spacious one bedroom apartment with huge windows and we absolutely love it. We've been here for five months and we have one month left to go before we move out. This video is sponsored by Audible. We'll give you more information about them later in the video. It's been close to six years since we sold our house and in that time we've been traveling and backpacking, we've been house sitting, we've been visiting friends and family and we've been living in our van quite a bit. Um, only twice have we had an apartment. This is the second time and we did a six month lease takeover. The reason we got this apartment is because our friend Alex was really sick and we wanted to spend some time with him. Uh, and so we rented this apartment nearby. We knew this apartment wasn't gonna be a long-term home for us, so we made an effort not to bring too much stuff in, but at the same time, we knew we were gonna be spending a lot of time with friends, so we wanted it to be comfortable. So I guess you would kind of call what we've done here comfortable minimalism. We started with almost nothing because we just had our camper van, um, but we were really lucky to be able to furnish it on really short notice. So we were able to buy the couches, the dining room table and chairs, even the futon frame for our bed. Um, used and then a lot of stuff was also lent to us from people who had extra stuff lying around So let's go check out the apartment This is our dining room slash exploring alternatives headquarters So this is where we do all of our editing and as you can see it gets pretty crazy with the laptops Hard drives the coffee mugs and all the cables and everything we do our best to keep it clean But this is inevitably the mess that happens when we're working, uh, but this is what it looks like when it's clean this is our living room. We set it up to be pretty cozy and comfortable and we wanted to have space to have people over. A lot of the furniture that we were either given or that we bought for cheap is pretty used so we tried to dress it up a little bit with some blankets and stuff like that. Um, some minimalists also don't like to have art on the walls but with Matt being an artist uh, we always like to have some of his work showing so these are some of his paintings um, and then we picked up some other stuff. Uh, to put on the walls on the other side. We didn't invest in a lot of organizational stuff because we knew that we were going to be leaving in six months, but we did find that this little shelf that we got at the secondhand store was really helpful for just keeping our hard drives and our office supplies and books organized so that it didn't become total chaos. We're pretty used to watching movies on our laptops and that's what we usually do, but as soon as we moved in here, a friend of ours put out a call for someone to lend us a TV. So this was kind of a surprise. It was unexpected. It has been really nice though because it's been really cold this winter, so it's nice to cozy up on the couch and watch movies. This is our version of a minimalist living room. It's comfortable and it's functional, but it's not overly cluttered. We just have our favorite things here. This is the entrance when you first come in the apartment. We kept it really simple. There's just a simple shoe tray there. We have a spot for each of our sets of keys and our respective sunglasses. We've got a closet here. It looks a little crazy and part of the reason for that is that we kept all of the Rubbermaid bins and moving blankets that we're going to need to move. So we each have our spring coats, our winter coats, spring and winter boots. This is our kitchen, we absolutely love it. There's tons of counter space, we have running water. It's very different from cooking in the van. Um, so we tried to keep it pretty simple. Uh, we bought some of our dishes and different kitchen items used and people also lent us some of their kitchen items um, that they had extra of, so that's been really great. One thing we've been trying to do since we're here um, and there's a zero waste grocery store across the street is uh, buy a lot of our stuff in glass jars. So we've been trying to do that to minimize our waste. There is evidence that we haven't fully settled into the apartment. We're still using a cardboard box as a garbage can. <laughs> this is our bathroom. We kept it pretty simple. There's not much to show. We have one hand towel. We built this cabinet with an old wine box that was my grandpa's. It has everything that we use on a daily basis. Our deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrush, floss essential oils, stuff like that. And down here we have extra toilet paper, um, extra soap, rubbing alcohol, first aid kit, stuff like that. Now we're in the bedroom. It's pretty spacious. So our bed is just the futon mattress that we've been using in the van and that we've owned for years, over a decade. And it's just on a futon frame that we bought for like $25. We made the night tables out of scrap materials from my dad's shop and they work perfectly. We can fit a few books underneath and the lamp on top. That's all we need. This area kind of looks wacky in the bedroom. It's, I guess, what we would call our hobby corner. Uh, we've got some music instruments, uh, some sewing and knitting stuff here, and then our dirty laundry. This is a lot of stuff that we wouldn't normally travel with, except for Matt's ukulele, um, but we decided to borrow the guitar and get the sewing machine from my parents so that 
we could do a little bit of extra crafting, which we don't usually get the chance to do when we're in the van. So for example, I used the sewing machine to make all of our curtains, so that saved us a lot of money. We don't actually have a dresser or anything, so all of our clothes are stored in our closet. It's a pretty small closet, but we fit both of our clothes in here, as well as a lot of other stuff. So Matt's shirts and his pants and winter sweaters are up there. And then on this side, I've got my shirts, my winter sweaters. We bought a couple of extras, and then we're gonna donate them at the end of the winter. And then we borrowed this hanging clothing rack, which kind of replaces a dresser, and it's really lightweight, and it saves a lot of space, so we really like that. We also managed to fit in um, our camping chairs, which were in our van. We've got a full-size vacuum cleaner that somebody lent us, and we have two suitcases, plus extra bedding for when people come over. So there is a lot of stuff in here, but we've managed to make it pretty functional. For us, minimalism is all about surrounding ourselves with things that are useful or that add value to our lives or that are enjoyable. So you can see from our apartment tour, we have quite a few things that aren't necessarily utilitarian items, uh, but they're more things that we enjoy. So like our sewing machine or our music instruments or our craft section. Um, those are things that some people might look at as clutter, but for us, they add value to our lives and that's why we have them here. We've also realized over the years, um, from the time we did our first downsizing six years ago to now, that minimalism isn't just a static way of living where you achieve it and then it's done. It's actually kind of a flow where things are coming in and out of your life constantly, depending on what you're doing, what your priorities are, uh, whether it's just after Christmas and you've just received a bunch of gifts, things are always changing. So we're always in a constant state of reevaluating what we need, what we don't need, and we usually have a pretty active donation slash giveaway pile in our apartment or in the van, wherever we are. Just stuff that we realize we don't need anymore, and as soon as we realize that, we try to get rid of it. Living in this big apartment has been challenging for us sometimes because we do have so much space. It has been tempting to buy things that we don't necessarily need. Um, and it's also been a challenge for us to keep it tidy because we're not used to living in such a large space. So for example, sometimes our craft table is actually Matt's dirty laundry table or the dishes in the kitchen are not done for several days at a time. And that's just the reality and we're always trying to do better, but we don't always succeed. A couple of things that we each need to work on. Uh, Matt needs to work on his electronics addiction. Uh, so Matt's got cables and little gadgets. I don't even know what some of them are for. And they just sort of pile up and they're just all over the place. So that's something we need to work on, just keeping the electronics organized and just trying to keep everything under control. Something I need to work on is my accumulation of books. Since we've been in the apartment, I've accumulated way more books than I can read in the time that we're going to be here. So I'm trying to be mindful of that and read them and give them away as soon as I'm done and also gift some of them to friends. One thing I'm trying to do to manage the volume of books that I own at any one time is to listen to some of them as audiobooks. I know books are a sticking point for a lot of people who are trying to become minimalists and downsize their stuff. So because audiobooks are digital, they take up no space at all. Speaking of audiobooks, like I mentioned at the beginning, Audible sponsored this video and they're giving our viewers a free audiobook with a 30-day trial membership. So if you go to audible.com slash exploring alternatives, it's a great and easy way to try an audiobook for free and see if you like them. If you're in the US, you can also text exploring alternatives to 500-500 to start your trial. The next audiobook I'm planning to check out is The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss, and I'm hoping that it's going to give us more tips about streamlining our workweek and maybe some early retirement tips too. Again, if you want to try that free trial, the link is audible.com slash exploring alternatives. Hope you enjoyed checking out our minimalist apartment. It's obviously not perfect, but minimalism means different things to different people, and for us it means different things at different points in time. This is what we needed this past winter, um, but in a month we're gonna be moving into a van and living in a whole new definition of minimalism. So it's always changing. Thank you for watching this video, and thanks to our friends and family who helped us set up this cozy temporary home.